Hi beauties, my name is Yulia, welcome to my channel and the video for today is about CBD. It seems that today around 6 million people here in UK are using CBD into their supplement, diet, oils, hair care, skin care and I decided to do this video for many of you that really have no idea what is CBD or they think that it's the same as marijuana or the same as hemp seed oil. It is not a plant, it is a compound. So if you missed the video from last week, I'm gonna say it again. There's three different main strains of cannabis plants and they are Ruderalis, Cannabis Sativa and Indica. We are not going to look into marijuana or into cannabis indica or ruderalis because they have high quantity of ingredients that will make you high like the THC but have little or no CBD into them. We're going to look into hemp because this is the plant that will be extracted CBD from and it's different from the hemp seed oil because in order for you to get the CBD oil the extraction will happen from all parts of the plant so the flowers the stems the leaves everything goes in and the process of production is very very different and more expensive than with the hemp seed oil usually these use high temperature and CO2 in order to get this type of extract from the plant and after the whole process you get a powder base for the oil or as a carrier it is used either hemp seed oil but actually more often is used olive oil the other name of cbd or the name that you can actually find it in the inky list is cannabidiol and this is cannabinoid that could be found into the cannabis plant. Now, a lot of different cannabinoids could be found in the plant. Usually studies place them between 80 and 100. But what is interesting to understand is that in the 1940s, scientists found that our own body has endocannabinoid system. And it, it has two different kinds of receptors that are actually able to interact with different cannabinoids into the cannabis plant. So they do affect us in a very different way than other compounds that could be found in other plants. Tetrahydrocannabinol is the most famous ingredient into cannabis plants and this is your THC. This is the compound that will make you high and this is the compound which is part of the marijuana plant. While the number of studies is limited, the evidence from well-controlled human experimental research indicates that CBD is not associated with abuse potential. So this is nothing that will make you high, will alter your mind state all will lead to some kind of addiction. I really hope you can hear me well. There's a rain, very, very heavy rain here. And unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do about it. What is important to understand is that in hemp seed oil, there is very little or none at all THC. And in CBD oil, in order to be sold to the consumers, in the United States, the quantity has to be under 0.3% into the whole product. And here in Europe, under 0.2%. In 2020, in November, the European Union Commission decided officially that CBD is not considered to be a narcotic substance here in Europe. Now, that doesn't mean that there are no issues within different countries, within the law. Less inflammation means that we will be 
aging slowlier. So there you go with the anti-aging type of properties. But also the fact that it is anti-inflammatory ingredient means that it will be suitable for anyone with imitated skin, sensitive skin or some kind of skin condition like rosacea or psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis. And there were some studies done for people who were suffering from those conditions that were promising but they were still not conclusive. This is also the reason why we believe that this ingredient might be helpful for anyone with acne. Now, this type of condition is in results of a lot of factors that will make things worse or better, but definitely, especially the red painful pimples, are in results of inflammatory processes happening into the skin. So everything that is anti-inflammatory and soothing will be able to help with this type of acne problems. The other reason why it might be part of the general anti-aging care is because it is antioxidant. So it is able to catch the free radicals and transform them into less potent form. According to some studies, CBD might be able to reduce the production of sebum or oil into the skin and they give two, three different reasons. A lot of people are taking orally cannabidiol and there's a lot of different reasons why they might decide to do it and it's from pain and migraine and insomnia to even cancer and alzheimer and ms i do have a serious issues with this climbs that it's an ingredient that is able to cure everything i'm not gonna address this right now it's not my place obviously i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist a lot of companies like to advertise that their climbs are based on studies but for instance the study that it's able to help with pain was based on animals so obviously we are not the same <laughs> we don't know what ph levels are suitable for the products we don't know how it will affect actives or obviously the actives will affect the cbd oil we don't know for how easily it is oxidizing how stable it is we do know that it's not very stable <laughs> but that's about it we don't know what quantities are beneficial for our skin but won't irritate we we don't know how it will affect and will it affect every single person in the same way there are a lot of concerns with regards to the sources of cbd what is exactly into the packing because the regulations are not so great there were some reports for cbd um, contaminated products with uh, different pesticides or with uh, THC amount into CBD products which are uh, much higher than they were supposed to. So far we do have some studies about side effects like liver damage or affecting the appetite, um, headaches and I will list them over here. But again, the main issue is that this is for good quality, pure CBD oil. But the issue with not enough studies is a huge. One of the larger volume studies was done over uh, filing a questionnaire in a period of, I think, three or four months. And it was anonymous. The problem with this type of studies is that the people who are part of it are already biased they want to start using it and they already have a positive idea about this type of ingredient because this is a voluntarily and they're doing it in their spare time because they want to people actually were never face to face to one another there was no observation from psychologist or um, scientist taking any kind of samples or a doctor observing some kind of medical issues so it's i felt better and that's why it's working cbd is ingredient which is not advised to be used during breastfeeding or pregnancy 
Also, if you do want to use CBD oil, my suggestion is absolutely to speak with your healthcare provider. In June 2018, uh, FDA approved a purified form of CBD oil called Epidiolex for seizures into children. And this was a huge break because we don't have enough studies. But apparently these type of seizures were not affected from other medicines, but the CBD oil was able to help. A year later here in Europe also was legalized the same medicine. Brands like to play with different words. So if there is CBD in your product, it will be listed into the inky list as cannabidiol. If this ingredient is not part of the inky list, but it's a, a cannabis sativa oil, enriched oil, CBD enriched oil or anything like this, then please don't buy it. If you're looking into CBD products, it has to say cannabidiol into the inky list. Also, you have to look into the price, as I said, because the extraction is much more complicated for CBD oil than for hemp seed oil. The price will be higher. There's three different types of extract of CBD that you can find in your product. There's a full spectrum of CBD oil, which means that all the cannabinoids have been extracted from the products and there will be THC as well, obviously within the regulated amount. So it will be under 0.2 for Europe and 0.3 for the USA as amount into your product. Then there's a broad spectrum of CBD oil, which means that there won't be any THC, but the rest of the cannabinoids will be part of your product. And the last kind is isolated or CBD isolate. And this means that all the other cannabinoids will be removed from your product and the only thing inside will be CBD. Many brands will give you the exact amount of CBD into their products, whether in, as a milligrams or as percentage. And I think this is also a good indication for the origin of your product. And obviously you have to bear in mind how to store it. It does go off quite easily. So around the year shelf life and after you open it, I'll say probably two, three months, you have to make sure that the container is airtight and keep it away from direct sunlight and high temperature as well. So although CBD might have a lot of different benefits, so do plenty of other ingredients that we have enough evidence about that are much more available and also much more affordable because I don't feel comfortable saying that 50 pounds CBD balm will work so much better than 10 pounds product which is based say on aloe vera, tea tree, honey or something like this and that's why you didn't get any recommended products into this video. There's different estimation for 2025 but they're all looking into billions in worldwide. So yes we don't know enough about CBD especially but that doesn't mean that people will stop selling it to us. I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos about skincare.